Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To combine several PDF documents together to create one larger PDF, select File from the menu bar, roll down to the Create command, and then choose the Combine Files into a Single PDF command in order to open the Combine Files dialog box. This dialog box allows you to select the individual PDF files that will be combined into the larger PDF file. The text in the middle of this dialog box states, Add files using the drop-down, or drag and drop them here. You can arrange them in the order you want. Therefore, one way to add files to this dialog box is to use your computer's file explorer, such as Windows Explorer, for example, in order to select the PDF files and then drag them from the File Explorer window and drop them into this dialog box. Another way to add files is to click the Add Files drop-down button in the upper left corner of the Combined Files dialog box. You will then see a drop-down menu appear that shows the many ways in which you can add files to this dialog box. You can select the desired command from the drop-down menu to add files using that method. To add individually selected files, click the Add Files command to open the Add Files dialog box. Navigate to Add the Files, click them to select them, and then click the Open button to add them to the Combined Files dialog box. To add all files within a folder that contain any file type that can be converted into a PDF, you can choose the Add Folders button command to open the Browse for Folder dialog box. Select the folder that then contains the files and then click the OK button to add all files within the selected folder that can be converted into a PDF format into the Combined Files dialog box. To add a file from a scanner, you can select the Add PDF from Scanner command to open the Acrobat Scan dialog box. You would then select the scanner to use from the scanner drop-down and then click a preset button to complete the scan and add the file to the combined files dialog box. To add a web page, select the add web page command to open the add web page dialog box. Enter the URL of the web page to convert into a PDF and then click the add button to add the web page to the combined files dialog box. You can select the Add from Clipboard command to immediately add the content of your clipboard to the dialog box. You can select the Add Email command to display a prompt that tells you that you can drag and drop email from Outlook or Lotus Notes directly into the Combined Files dialog box. To add files that you have previously combined in other combining sessions, Select the Reuse Files command to open the Reuse Files dialog box. Select a recently combined file in the left list, and then select a component of that combined file to add in the right list. Then click the Add Files button to add the reused file content into the Combined Files dialog box. To add any currently opened PDF files, select the Add Open Files command to open the Open PDF Files dialog box where you can select the names of the currently opened PDF files to add and then click the Add Files button to add them into the Combined Files dialog box. Now as you add files to the Combined Files dialog box, Note that you can also click the Undo, Redo, and Remove Selected Items buttons that appear at the bottom of the dialog box in order to undo the last addition, redo whatever you undid, or remove the selected item within the Combined Files dialog box. 
Note that you can also change the view of the files that's shown in this dialog box. To display the files as thumbnails, click the Switch to Thumbnail View button that appears in the upper right corner of this dialog box. To switch to a list view instead, click the Switch to List View button that appears to its right. This can assist you in placing the selected files into the correct order within the larger PDF. To rearrange the files within the Combined Files dialog box so that the new PDF is ordered the way that you want, click and drag any file's thumbnail image within the dialog box into the position where you want it to be, and then release the mouse button. To set the options for combining the files, click the Options button in the upper right corner of this dialog box to open the Options dialog box. You can set a target file size by clicking a button for the desired choice in the File Size section. You can choose the type of combined file to create by selecting either Single PDF or Portfolio in the File Type section. You can then check or uncheck the checkboxes in the Other Options section to enable or disable those settings if desired. Then click the OK button to apply your options. When you are ready to create the combined PDF, click the Combine Files button. Depending on the size and number of PDFs that you are combining, a progress bar will show you where Acrobat is within the Combine operation. When the operation is finished, the new PDF is created and opened in Acrobat's main document window. You can then save the new combined PDF. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.